welcome to another video session from Karim's biology so today the topic that I have chosen is heredity from parent to parent to progeny and in this the subtopic is characters versus traits so in this session I am going to give you a complete understanding of what are characters and what are traits so let us enter into the details characters versus traits so knowing the difference between a character and trait is must for the student who is going to learn about heredity and inheritance see if you know that basic and if you have the basic understanding of what is a character and what is a trait it becomes very easy for you to understand the other concept that i'm going to teach you in the coming days for example if you want to understand what is monohybrid cross what is dihybrid cross or what is monoploidy diploidy if you want to learn about all this stuff you need to first understand the basic difference between character and trait though they may be used as synonyms in most cases there is a slight difference most of the people they say that there is no much difference characters and traits and some people use them as synonyms but uh, of course they may be used as synonyms but there is a slight difference that you need to understand as a biology student if you don't know what is that slight dis uh, difference it may be problematic for you in the coming classes so that's why i'm trying to give you the basic understanding of the characters and traits first let us discuss what is character i am giving the definition of cambridge dictionary so in this dictionary it is said as the particular combination of qualities in a person or place that makes them different from others the particular combination of qualities in a person so here uh, it is given in the general perspective the definition in this dictionary is given in the general perspective i am not showing that it is a wrong definition it is the correct meaning for character but for biology in the perspective of biology this definition is not an appropriate definition that's what i feel so what is the uh, what are characters in biological perspective let us see now so there is a definition in biology character is any observable physical feature of an organism character is any observable physical feature of an organism see every organism contains a set of physical features which you can observe so whatever the physical feature that you are able to observe is said to be a character i hope that you understood uh, this definition uh, so anyhow i will give you some uh, examples to make this concept very clear so look at this picture this is the first example in the picture one lady is measuring the height of an individual height so here height is the character which the lady is trying to observe so in other words i can say that the height of the person is an observable physical feature i hope that you are understanding the height of this person is one observable physical feature in this particular person understood so we can observe the height so height of a person is an observable physical character we can say height as character we can correlate height height in this case to the character of this individual now come to the next example look at this picture this picture is saying uh, in this picture you can see the hair of a lady and uh, you know and the color of the hair you know black in case of indians and africans also have black hair but uh, in this picture you can see we are able to that means you are able to observe the color of the hair so i can correlate here the color of the hair to that of a character so color of the hair is an observable physical character which you can observe from outside so one more example that i can give here is the ear pinna this is the ear pinna and i'm not going to take the complete uh, uh, shape of the ear pinna but you know the last part of the ear pinna which is called ear lobule so ear lobule also an observable physical character so i can correlate this ear lobule uh, shape uh, as one of the observable physical character in this case so that's about uh, uh, characters all these are the set of characters that we have seen now what is the meaning of a trait we have seen the definition of character which is an observable physical feature 
we have given some examples also so the next concept is what is a trait as i told you that most of the people they correlate they uh, often use character and trait as synonyms now let us see whether they are same or different a trait is a variant for character are you understanding the eight a trait is a variant for character so what does it mean by a variant now look at again for the uh, look at uh, uh, the first picture again the lady is measuring the height of that person i told you in the previous uh, slide that the height is one of the observable physical character so we can tell that height is one character and in this height look at this uh, person the name of the person is harry s truman and look at the height of the person the height of the person is 5.9 feet that means almost he is 6 feet and 175 cm long and uh, this is one of the trait are you understanding height is the character for that character one of the trait is tall so i can say he is as he is almost 6 feet long i can say this person is tall so for the character height the tallness or being tall is one of the trait now look at the next picture she is best woman and look at the height of this lady she is only 5.4 uh, feet uh, she is uh, not taller when compared to harry s truman compared to this man this lady is not that much taller so i can consider this lady i can consider this lady as a as short so short is or shortness is another trait for the character height so are you getting my point height is the character to this height there are two traits present tall and short in other words i can say that the tall and short are distinguishing traits of the height let me repeat that tall and short are distinguishing traits of the height what does it mean by distinguishing traits see they are different tall and short they are opposite to each other so i can say these two are the distinguishing traits for the same characters which is height okay so that is the first example now come to the second example that we have taken for character which is hair color look at this picture as i told you that hair color when you talk about hair color indians uh, we have black hair but if you go to western countries the people in the western countries they have gray hair okay so here the character that we are considering is the hair color in this hair color again there are two traits what are they black hair and gray hair these are the two traits for the character hair color in other words i can say that black and gray are distinguishing traits of the hair color black and gray these are the distinguishing traits for the character hair color i hope that you understand this also and one more thing is black and gray they are distinguishing traits in other words they are also contrasting traits because both of them are opposite to each other now come to another example character ear lobule which we have consider let us see ear lobule uh, ear lobule means not complete ear this part of the ear is called ear lobule now look here the ear lobule here is broader so this is one of the trait broad ear lobule now look at the next trait the next trait is you see here the ear lobule is narrow here the ear lobule is narrow so in other words i can say that broad and narrow these are the traits for the character of ear lobule broad ear lobule and narrow ear lobule are the contrasting characters or Uh, are distinguishing traits for the character ear lobule this is what is given here so broad and narrow are distinguishing traits of the ear lobule i hope that you understand the difference between the trait and character now now what is the conclusion that we can give by observing these things we can give a conclusion that distinguishing traits are distinguishing are contrasting traits of the same character are present in the population of an organism look at the picture imagine that this is the population there are four people here uh, and population is nothing but when the group of individuals of the same species are grouped together that is called uh, population or when the individuals uh, individuals of the same species when they group together that is called population so in this population we are considering the character height in this 
distinguishing or contrasting traits of the same character are present so character is height for this distinguishing traits of the same character are present here and i hope that you understand this concept in the next session i am going to come forward with father of genetics gregor john mendel's work thank you very much for watching this video